5-Minute Tax Guides from your 5-Minute Tax Guy. Short lessons to help you navigate the treacherous, hazardous, and totally unpredictable U.S. Federal Tax Code. Today's 5-Minute Tax Tip is on Social Security Benefits. Are my benefits taxable? And if so, how much is taxable? The first thing we have to determine is if any of your benefits will be taxable. For some of you, that question is easily answered. If Social Security benefits are your only income, then none of your benefits will be taxable. Good news, right? However, if you have other types of income, such as pension distributions, wages, dividends, or other income, then some of your benefits may be taxable. One note, the maximum amount of your benefits that may be taxable is 85%. To determine if any of your benefits are taxable, you have to first know your filing status. Here are the five filing statuses. Single, married filing joint, married filing separate, head of household, and qualifying widow with dependent child. There are base amounts associated with each of the filing statuses. Here are the base amounts. Single, 25,000, married filing joint, 32,000, married filing separate, and you live with your spouse at any time during the year, zero. That's right, zero. Head of household, 25,000. Qualifying widow with dependent child, 25,000. Here's the formula used to determine if any of your benefits are taxable. First, you must determine your combined income, sometimes called provisional income. Combined income equals your adjusted gross income, or AGI, plus your non-taxable interest, plus one-half of your Social Security benefits. Once you've determined your combined income, then you compare it to your base amount, which we covered in the previous screen. If your combined income is greater than your base amount, then some of your benefits will be taxable. If your combined income is less than your base amount, then probably none of your benefits will be taxable. Let's try an example. Let's say that you have the following. Social Security benefits, $18,350. Pension plan distribution, $84,78. Earnings from part-time employment, $36,80. And interest on a municipal bond, which is non-taxable, $975. And let's say that you're filing a married filing joint return. First, what is your combined income? Well, we take one half of your Social Security benefits. That's 18350 times one half, which is 9175 Then we add your adjusted gross income, the 8478 plus the 3680, totaling 12158 to this, we have to add back your non-taxable interest, which is 975. That tax-exempt interest would not have been included in your AGI. This comes up to 22,308. So your combined income is 22,308. We compare this to your base amount, which is $32,000 because you're married filing joint. Your combined income of 22308 is less than your base amount of 32000 so none of your benefits are taxable. But wait, what if your combined income had come out to more than your base amount, say 45000 Then you know that part of your benefits are taxable. But how much is taxable? Now we have to use the formula to determine what portion of your benefits are taxable. There is actually a Social Security Benefits Worksheet which calculates the taxable portion of your benefits. However, since there are numerous calculators out there on the web that will go through the steps for you, I'm just going to refer you to some of them. Here are just some of the websites that will calculate your Social Security taxable benefits amount. You can click on any of these links to go to the website.